Hello everyone, this is Dan. I'd like to provide an update on PayPal and Square. I'm still very bullish on these two companies. Let me explain why. Here's a recap of the price targets from the video that I posted on March 18th. I'm still sticking with the same targets. In other words, I expect PayPal to reach $300 a share and Square to reach $280 a share before the end of July 2021. Compared to the price from March 18th, PayPal at the time was 244.48. As of yesterday closing, it already went up to 255.6. And Square on March 18th, it was 236.21. As of yesterday, April 7th, 2021, it was at 245.12. They're both trending in the right direction according to my forecast. Here's a recent development that's very positive for Square. As of March 1st, 2021, Square started their banking business. They recently acquired a license to operate as an industrial bank. And with that, they will offer business loans and deposit products to the customers. I expect the bottom line of Square to improve because of the new banking operation. You might already know that Square also offer their customers the ability to trade stock using their Square app, as well as trade cryptocurrencies. They have a very aggressive business model. They are quickly expanding into different areas. This is a chart that I show from the March 18th video. That's the price as of the market close of March 17, 2021. And I mentioned that during the past year, Square went up by 246% and PayPal went up by 156%. Both of them are very impressive companies. This is the chart I printed at market close yesterday comparing the movement of Square, which is the candlestick chart here, and the movement of PayPal, which is the blue line chart here. Two of them are almost side by side with each other. And then I plotted the triple ETF that's pegged to the NASDAQ 100, which is the ETF TQQQ. As you can see, both Square and PayPal are pretty much in sync with TQQQ. The good news is that because of sector rotation, the market is now favoring tech stocks such as TQQQ or triple Q or NASDAQ 100. Let's look at sector rotation. This is a summary of the different sectors for the last month. The tech sector was ranked number four. This is in the most recent week, and the tech sector has risen up to number two in ranking. That means tech sector is rotating back. In other words, stocks such as QQQ, TQQQ, PayPal, and Square will be moving up in the next few days. At this point, I'd like to remind you to please click the like, subscribe, and notification button if you like what you've seen so far, so that you will be notified when I post the next video. This is also for the sake of the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Let's continue. You might know that the very famous ARK Investment Group has been buying a lot of PayPal stocks and Square stocks. But recently, especially in the last month, they have been selling the PayPal shares. And in the meanwhile, they have been increasing their holding of the Square stock. I don't think this is a bad situation for PayPal, although it's definitely a very positive sign for Square. The reason why is because the head of the ARK Investment Group, Kathy Wood, she mentioned in a recent interview that she liked to trade certain cash-like instruments, such as Apple, during volatile time because those stocks tend to not drop too much during a dip. When the market has dipped already, she would tend to sell stocks from companies such as Apple and pick up what she called a high conviction stock, which tend to have very high volatility. And once the market has reached bottom, these very bullish stock that has reached bottom will bounce back a lot quicker because of their volatility or high beta. And not surprisingly, if you look at the beta for PayPal, it's only 1.15, which is about the same as a broad market. Whereas for Square, the beta is 2.43. Since the tech sector pretty much reached a short-term bottom about a week ago, 
it's bouncing back now and that's why Square will be rising a lot faster than PayPal and it is therefore logical for Kathy Wood to be selling PayPal and buying Square at this time. Just to confirm PayPal is not doomed yet, you can see that with the ARK Investment ARKF financial ETF, Square certainly is ranked number one. That's an indication that they really value Square. But in the meanwhile, PayPal is still number four on their list. On the other hand, with the ARKK fund, Square is number two on the list. Of course, Tesla is number one, and PayPal is not even here on the top 10. It's probably number 20 or so. Overall, I don't think they are ditching PayPal because they think PayPal is a loser. They are just doing that because of their typical financial manipulation during this time of the market cycle. I'm still very bullish on both PayPal and Square. Let's look at the chart. This is the daily chart for PayPal. We can see that it's been following this triangular pattern and fortunately there's a breakout from the pattern upward in the last five days. In the meanwhile we see a buy signal from MACD, a buy signal from DMI. Those are very bullish signs. Let's look at the hourly chart. As of yesterday, PayPal closed at 256.3. We can see this nice upward trending channel that PayPal has been following in the last four days. In the meanwhile, we do see a warning sign from the RSI indicator showing that the stock might be getting overbought. That's why we got to be careful at this point. And we see a bullish buy signal from DMI. At this point, PayPal will be fighting against this resistance of 257. Apparently, it was supported at 226 about two weeks ago. That's when this positive trend line started. As of this morning, which is April 8th, 2021, and it's around 9.28 a.m., PayPal is at 260. So it already broke through this resistance line of 257, which is a very bullish sign. As far as the other resistance levels and support levels, I see resistance at 257, which is this line here, and it's already being penetrated, which is great. And then the next one up will be 260, which also happens to be the upper Bollinger Band. And that's where the price is at at this point at 9.30 a.m., April 8th. And then the next level up will be 277, and the next level up will be 279. As far as support levels, I see support at 245, which is a very important support because it's a 20-day simple moving average. And then the next support down will be 231, which is the daily lower Bollinger Band. And then the next level will be 226, back to this line. Hopefully we don't get back to that line anytime soon. Now, I have to provide a word of caution, which is that the Standard & Poor Index is at its all-time high in the last few days. In other words, there could be a short-term pullback with the S&P Index, and once that happens, it might pull down the other stocks, including PayPal and Square as well. That's why I'm cautiously optimistic at this point about PayPal and Square. Let's look at the daily chart for Square. We see this triangular pattern as of the last two days. The price has broken up above this triangular pattern, which is a bullish sign. In the meanwhile, we see this buy signal from DMI and a buy signal from MACD. Let's look at the hourly chart for Square. Instantly, yesterday as of 11 a.m., I sold some of my shares at 247.2 because I saw the price way exceeded the upper Bollinger Band on the hourly chart, and I expected the short-term pullback, and short, certainly it happened. In the meanwhile, we see this nice upward trending channel, and we have this positive buy signal from DMI and the positive buy signal for MACD. We do see a warning sign from RSI showing that the stock might be a little bit overbought, and that's also one of the reasons why I sold some of my shares yesterday to lock in my profit. The next support level Square will be fighting will be 253. At this time, which is around 9.31 a.m., April 8th, 2021, it's trading at 251.5. And that means it's still fighting this resistance level. Five days, six days ago, Square got a very nice support from this level at 201. 
as far as the other support and resistance levels. Definitely the first one up for resistance will be 253 and the next one up will be 256 which happens to be the daily upper Bollinger Band and then the next level up will be 267. For support the next level down will be 235 which is the 50 day simple moving average and then the next level down will be 230 which is a 20 day simple moving average and then the next level down will be 227, 208 and then we back down to 201 and hopefully we don't get back to 201 anytime soon. Again I need to caution everybody that S&P is at its all time high and there could be a short term pullback in the market pretty soon taking down maybe also Square as well as PayPal. Let's compare the analyst opinions today as opposed to the opinions back in March. I highlighted the changes in yellow. Pretty much there hasn't been a lot of change except Yahoo Business increased the target for PayPal from 306.6 to 308.19 and then the street.com reduced the rating for PayPal a little bit from A minus to B plus and then they lowered the target from 333.15 to 318.73. It's not much of a change there. As far as Square, tipranks.com lowered the rating a little bit from strong buy to moderate buy and however the high end of the target got increased from 375 to 380. The average target went down from 307 to 275 and the low target went down from 241 to 160. That's a little bit alarming. As far as my own evaluation, just as a quick recap of what I show in the March 18th video. Based on my calculation, I arrived at a target price of $280 a share with a forward P ratio of 60 and estimated annual earnings growth of 22.2%. I'm still sticking with this target. As far as Square, my target is $280 a share based on an assumption of 250 average forward PE ratio and the projected earnings growth of 54.22% per year. The 250 PE ratio is very aggressive. I explained in the March 18th video that I believe it is justified compared to some of the other companies with high PE ratios and also in light of the fact that Square is very aggressively expanding into other profitable areas such as banking, stock trading, cryptocurrency trading, etc. Just to recap, my target for PayPal is $300 a share and for Square is $280 a share to be reached by the end of July 2021. Thank you for watching all the way to here. If you are watching this video a few days after April 8th, 2021, Please make sure to check the update section below this video in case I've entered update notes. And if you like what you've seen so far, please click the like, subscribe and notification button so you'll be notified when I post the next video. It is also for the sake of the YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much. As usual, I will welcome your comments, questions and suggestions. I'd like to caution you that I'm not a financial advisor. You should make your own decision with regard to buying and selling stocks and you should probably consult with the financial advisors before you do so. I share my trading strategies for educational purpose only. This about wraps up my video for now. I will chat with you again in the next few days. In the meanwhile, I'd like to wish you the very best of luck with your financial investments.